If you want to build a successful online coaching business in 2024, you need to start thinking differently about your social media strategy. You see, I see so many fitness professionals going about their social media in the wrong way. The intention is to build a coaching brand, but what's being presented is very, very different. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about influencer style marketing and building a coaching brand. But before I do, I wanna ask you a very simple question. What are you trying to build? What are you trying to use your social media for? Is it to become an influencer, to build a high following, and that's the only thing that's important to you? Or is it to influence a particular target audience and direct them into a coaching brand where your intention is to deliver professional fitness coaching? That's the first question I ask any fitness professional. You see, when I audit any Instagram page, any Facebook account, I will say to them, I can see a distinct difference. One, I can clearly see you're trying to build a coaching brand, but it's missing some key elements, or it's an influencer brand, and I think that you're quite confused of the direction that you're going. You see, we can all go on social media and see influencer brands. They are audience growth focused. You see, the focus of an influencer is to build a big following, to get as much attention as possible. You know, 2024 and beyond, attention is key. But are you trying to build your following simply off attention and missing out the key things that an online coaching business or brand needs? An influencer isn't focused too much on the specific education to a particular niche. They're trying to reach as many people as possible. They're not really focused on community. And very often, influencer brands are focused on themselves. What I'm doing, who I am, and how much attention can I get? So I want you to just stop for a second and say, when I look at my account, is it just trying to get the views and likes? Is it all about me? Is it got any evidence that I'm directing my content to specific target audience? And is there any specific evidence of community and the people I'm trying to help? You see, when an influencer is focusing on their audience growth, very often at the end of the funnel, of the process of understanding who they are and what they do is a lower ticket product. You see, the higher the following you have, the bigger the attention and audience you have, you will very often drive that into a lower ticket. 25 pounds, dollars, 35 pounds, dollars, around about that level. So if that's your intention, then great. Follow down the influencer style marketing route. But I see so many coaches who are putting photos out of themselves, putting photos out of their training, putting photos out of their body and their physique with the intention of getting as much audience growth as possible. And I say, how is your online coaching business doing? How many clients have you got that are paying you for the coaching service that you are trying to build? Not as many as you'd think. I spoke to coaches with 100, 200,000 followers, and they've got no more than 10 to 15 online clients because the brand that they've developed is all around themselves, not other people. So on the flip side of this, we have coaching brands, personal coaching brands, fitness coaching brands that is purely focused on the outcome as well what somebody's achieving as a result of being a part of your brand. When you look at a coaching brand, they have education, teaching somebody how to do something. There is coaching, coaching somebody through a particular part of a journey. There is evidence of service. There is evidence of results. There is evidence of community. And they're selling a higher ticket coaching program. They're selling a program that's two, three, four, five hundred a month, or if you're selling it correctly, a set time frame to be in the program. So when I look at accounts, I say, is it self-focused? Is it you focused? Is it more of an influencer style brand? Or on the right hand side, I'm actually looking at a brand that's education, coaching, service, results, community focused. And it's very, very easy to see whether or not these things are in your account. Now, if you're watching this right now and you think, wow, that's me. All I'm doing is putting photos out of myself, but I'm not really building a coaching brand. Here are the areas that you need to focus on. 
And as we go through these, each of these areas, I want you to just comment below and say, number one is what I need to focus on the most. Thank you for highlighting that out to me. The first thing that you need to do if you're wanting to build a coaching brand and even scale a coaching brand in 2024 and beyond is you have to have evidence of your own journey. You have to be able to talk about your journey, the challenges that you've been through. You see, I started the fitness industry at the age of 23, doubting that I could be anything, low in self-confidence, no level of certainty about who I was and lacking acknowledgement for what I'd achieved. So I was craving significance. And then through dedicating myself to learning and becoming a personal trainer, suddenly my whole life changed. And when I'm coaching coaches, I get to see a reflection of how I used to be, what I used to struggle with. And that fills me with inspiration every single day. The team that work alongside me, they share a very similar journey. And collectively, we're inspiring, educating, supporting coaches. But by documenting my journey, what I'm doing, who I'm working with, where I'm going, referencing what my life has looked like in the past, I'm constantly talking to the younger version of myself, you. I'm constantly talking to that person. Whereas if you think of influencer marketing, it's what am I doing now? Who am I today? What does my body look like? What does my life look like? And that is inspiring people on what you are, who you are, <clears throat> and just focusing on audience growth. Now, the second thing is leadership and inspiration. What are you making of yourself? You know, to build a personal coaching brand in 2024, it's not just a trainer that's showing your own training and the clients you're working with. You need to be an inspiration. You need to be a person of influence. Now, a person of influence is somebody that is progressing, is growing, is showing that they're 10 steps ahead of everybody that they want to work with. So alongside documenting your journey, do I see leadership? Do I see inspiring content? Do I see you with your own team or leading your clients? Possibly not. Results, 2024, 2025 and ahead. The social media space will continue to grow. It will get busier, busier. As with any industry, it gets busier and busier. You see, we don't have a problem of oversaturation. You have a problem in not being able push through, to punch through. If you go down a high street and you see shop after shop after shop, restaurant after restaurant after restaurant, the high street, it's not saturated. It's always going to have a lot of people. You go to malls here in Dubai, there's shops everywhere. But what gets them to punch through? It's the reputation that they've built. It's the results, i.e. what people are saying about them. You see, on social media, just like in any business world, if you produce quality results, if you show people and document to people what you can achieve, and that might take one or two years. Yeah, you know, my advice to so many coaches is if, you, if you've got a stable income right now as a personal trainer, if you have a stable base of income, keep that while you're developing your results because as your brand improves, as you document your journey, as you inspire more people, as you present your results, you will receive more inquiries. Community, as we grow in social media, as we grow on Instagram and Facebook, as people hire more online coaches, they will come for the result. They will stay for the community. On your social media account, can I see that? Can I see you going to meet your clients? Can I see you bringing your clients together? Can I see your clients talking about the community they're a part of? Can I see you teaching? And I don't necessarily mean just teaching exercise or teaching about nutrition. I mean, identify every key area of limitation, doubt, challenge and frustration that your target audience face and presenting your, your content to them. You see, this video today is about Instagram marketing, social media marketing 2024. The split between coaches trying to do influencer marketing and not building a coaching brand and coaches building a coaching brand and actually getting the amount of clients that they want into their world. And with that, this is a key part of my education, allowing you to understand the difference between influencer and coaching brands. So you need to identify the difference between the content that you need to provide for your audience and provide that in a varied way throughout your marketing material. And then finally, you need to make sure that you document the whole transformation process. It's one thing seeing the before and after of your clients. It's another thing documenting how that person went through the journey, giving somebody the belief that they can do it too. Having people talk about their experience and their journey in your world. You see, 
Results, pictures is one thing. Having people speak emotionally about their journey with you is another. Now, if you look at those areas, documenting your journey, leadership and inspiring your team and your clients, showcasing results, building a community, showcasing teaching education. You see, in 2024 and beyond, a lot of the influencers out there, they don't have the knowledge of coaching and that's fine. So they're driving people to more of a lower ticket workout template app. Fine. There needs to be a divide between the influence of marketing and professional coaching. Professional coaching is where you're able to take somebody through your knowledge and skill through a clear journey. And that was what will separate you between the influencer style marketing and coaching brand. There needs to be this separation between what you think you need to be doing and what the coaching brand actually requires. There needs to be the influencer style marketing to get the attention, but there needs to be a big emphasis on the coaching brand. Going back to my original question at the start of this video, what are you trying to be? The confusion and the desperation for growing your audience takes away from what actually you're trying to build. In closing, I'm going to say this to you. At the time of recording this video, I have 62,000 followers. Our company turns over multiple seven figures each year. I have a team. We're helping hundreds of coaches around the world. It's proof to you that you don't need a million followers to build a successful coaching brand. You need a highly engaged following who really understand what you do. And with a lot of influencer brands, there's a huge number focus to drive people to something which is a no-brainer to just pay something cheap to be a part of their world. Does it help somebody on the full transformation process? No, that's where professional coaching comes in. And that's more than likely what you're missing out on. So comment below, are you lacking the documentation of your journey? Two, leadership and inspiration. Three, presenting results, four, presenting a community, five, education, and six, documenting the transformation process. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring. If you want help from us to develop your coaching brand, to punch through all the noise, and to go on and achieve huge success with your clients, and achieve the financial freedom that you're looking for from your business, then click the link in the description if you are watching this on YouTube. If you're listening to it on iTunes, please head over to Instagram, send me a message, click the link in my bio, and let us speak to you and show you how we can help you. For now, please click like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, and I shall speak to you soon.